We've been bringing you government shutdown effects for national parks since last year. Well, one site in Mentor was hit hard and had to close its doors. The historic James A. Garfield home in Mentor, now operated by the National Park Service, still had to shut its doors on up all days President's Day. Holidays are normally when the historic site gets most of its visitors. They lost almost 19,000 visitors from the year before. Dave Arnold was in Mentor today to see if 2014 will turn out to have a better historic future. The Garfield home is the centerpiece of James A. Garfield National Historic Site. As a history buff, if you wanted to tour this National Park Historic Site on Monday, President's Day, you couldn't. It was closed here in Menor. This is thought by many to be the nation's first presidential library. The National Park Service's Todd Arrington says recent government budget cuts had cut into their visitor opportunities. In 2012, we were getting close to about 40,000 visitors through the door, uh, which was, you know, an all-time high for us and, and really great, uh, great numbers. Come right this way, right in here. This is the reception hall. During winter days like today, visitors like Chris Baumgartner may just get a one-on-one -on -one tour from National Park Ranger Mary Lynn Turn. There was a hallway that surrounded the kitchen. She wanted to create a special room for her and the children to remember their father, for her to remember her husband. I think she told me 80% of the furnishings are original and they copied the wallpaper exactly and the fabrics exactly and it's just everything is perfect and beautiful. Lucretia Garfield added this to the home uh, starting in 1885. Since the Park Service took over in 2008, the former president's property and its chair's history have been fully restored. This is the vault. The historic site may be slow with visitation right now, but the future and appreciation is in all bleak. Whether it's going to allow us to be open on Sundays, I don't know yet. We're certainly hopeful that this year at least we'll be able to be open on a few of the holidays coming up, like Memorial Day, Fourth of July, those kinds of things. Live on 5 in Menor, I'm Dave Arnold. With many new additions there, park officials are hopeful that a proposal to restore full funding to places like the Garfield Memorial will be approved in time for the busy summer season.